Uh, veluta sauce can be made with any stock. Uh, it could be fish, it could be beef, chicken, it could be if you're a hunter and you uh, love to hunt for deer, you can make deer stock and then make your velute. So the velute will take the name of any stock that you add to it. Today we're going to use beef stock. To start your velute, we're going to need two ounces of flour. AP flour will work just fine. If you happen to have bread flour, that works also works really fine. And we're going to use two ounces of butter to make the roux. The roux is very important in the kitchen. It's a way to thicken our sauces. So it starts with equal parts of flour and butter. We're gonna then mix it, mix it well, and then we're gonna take it onto the stove. You have to cook the roux a little bit. We are trying to remove that raw flour taste. So in order to do that, we're going to cook the roux a little bit onto the blonde stage, and then we're gonna add the stock to it. The stock will simmer uh, uh, for about 45 minutes, and it's gonna achieve the proper consistency. Over gentle heat, we cook our roux to the blonde stage. Make sure that you don't overcook your roux. There is three different kinds of roux, white roux, blonde roux, and brown roux. The brown, as the more you cook your starches, they will lose thickening power. So at this point, we're just gonna take it to the blonde stage. Your roux has to look the consistency of wet sand. If it is too thick, just add a little bit of clarified butter. Let me just show you how it is. If you really like your consistency, if they were a little bit thinner, but wet sand is the way it has to look. But this is a stage I cook my blanc roux to then to add my sauces in. Roux is cooked. At this time, I'm gonna add one and a quart, one quart plus one cup of stock. And the most important thing is my stock is cold, my roux is hot. Please don't try to add hot stock into hot roux, otherwise it will clump up and you're gonna end up with a sauce with lumps in it. Now at this very important stage, all my roux has been, into, all my stock has been introduced into the roux. I'm gonna really increase the heat to high heat and I'm going to stir until this reaches a boil, a boiling point. That will ensure that first of all, I will not get any lumps and my velute will become lumpless. And also, by reaching the boiling point, I make 100% sure that my starch has reached proper and maximum gelatinization uh, power, which is the thickening of the sauce. So it has reached the boiling point. As you can see, the consistency of the sauce has changed. And now we turn it down to a simmer. You never want to boil sauces. They might get ruined and might, they might scorch at the bottom. Now it has reached, it's nice and thick. We're gonna let it simmer for about half an hour to 45 minutes so that flour can really cook. As you can see on the top of the sauce, you have that little foam. Those are the impurities from the sauce and the flour that are coming to the top of the pot. We're gonna remove those in a moment. Just make sure you don't remove a lot of the sauce. Just some of the foam that forms on top. And we're gonna let it go for about half an hour. Okay, our sauce has been simmering for about half an hour. Proper consistency. We taste it for salt and pepper. We decide that that's a proper taste in your sauce. It's going to look nice and velvety, no lumps.
and it should reach what we call the nape consistency, which we should easily cover the back of a spoon as you run your finger or leave a nice trail. And that is a proper consistency of a finished velouté.